I'm Barry Trammell with the Oklahoman. Let me get this straight. The jockey of Kentucky Derby winner Mind That Bird has left his horse at the Pimlico altar and says he will ride the filly Rachel Alexandra in the Preakness this Saturday. Underrated sport, this horse racing. You don't see Doc Rivers jumping to the Cavaliers in the middle of the NBA playoffs. You don't see Jeff Gordon switching cars after 264 miles of the Daytona 500. But here comes Calvin Burrell switching mounts after winning the world's most famous race. Which should make for a whale of a preakness. American Idol can only dream of intrigue like this. Hell hath no fury like a race horse scorned. Burrell won the Kentucky Oaks aboard Rachel Alexandra and apparently figures the filly is his best chance to win the Preakness. Which leads to a couple of questions. The Pacific Coast League can't compare to the Red Sox Yankees. Nobody knows who's even in the NBA D League, much less who wins it. Winning the Augusta National Club Championship doesn't make you a master. But suddenly the Kentucky Oaks is all that? And let's say Rachel Alexandra wins the Preakness and then the Belmont. Does that make Calvin Burrell a triple crown winner? Me, I'm cheering for mine that bird. He came to Churchill Downs in a trailer on the back of a pickup. Blue grass, but not blue blood. You've been disrespected, my friend. NBA players go ballistic if you look at them cross-eyed. They don't know what lack of respect is. Jumping horses in the middle of the stream? Now that's disrespect. Mind that bird will want to exact revenge, and who can blame him? We've all been there before. But remember the sage advice. The best revenge is to race well. Make Calvin Burrell wish he had never changed saddles.